You have seen that we need coordinates A, B, C to describe the position of a unique point P in the 3D space. Let's now connect origin to this point. Now the line segment OP is on the 3D space. The directed line segment OP is also called the position vector of the point P with respect to origin. Along with the position of point P, this position vector describes a unique direction in space directed along the line segment OP. Even if I extend this line segment, this direction does not change. Only the distance of P from origin changes. This unique direction in space can be described by the angle this directed line segment makes with x, y and z axis. This is very similar to the slope we use to describe the direction of a line in two-dimensional geometry. As you can see in the figure, if alpha, beta and gamma are the angles made by the line segment with coordinate axis, then these angles are termed to be direction angles of the directed line segment OP. The cosines of these angles are called as the direction cosines of the line. Hence, cos alpha, cos beta and cos gamma are called as direction cosines and are usually denoted by L, M and N. So we have L is equal to cos alpha, M is equal to cos beta and N is equal to cos gamma. From P, draw PA, PB and PC perpendicular to the coordinate axis, we now have angle POA is equal to alpha, angle POB is equal to beta and angle POC is equal to gamma. You can see that L is equal to cos alpha, that's adjacent side by hypotenuse, is equal to A by root of A square plus B square plus C square. Similarly, M is equal to cos beta is equal to B by root of A square plus B square plus C square and N is equal to cos gamma is equal to C by root of A square plus B square plus C square. So, the direction cosines of a position vector to the point P, that's A, B, Z, are A by root of A square plus B square plus C square, B by root of A square plus B square plus C square, and C by root of A square plus B square plus C square. Another concept which you need to learn related to direction cosines is that of direction ratios. Any three numbers which are proportional to direction cosines of a line are called as direction ratios. Since A, B, C are also proportional to the direction cosines A by root A square plus B square plus C square, B by root A square plus B square plus C square and C by root A square plus B square plus C square, we can call A, B, C as the direction ratios of OP. Also, if A, B, C are direction ratios and L, M, N are direction cosines, then we can write it as A by L is equal to B by M is equal to C by N is equal to K, where K of course is a constant. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Byju's, the learning app today.